Hello fellow YouTubers, um, thank you very much for tuning in to watch this video. Um, I know that a lot of you have subscribed since the last time I did a video and thank you very much for that, it is appreciated. I also know a lot of you watching this video don't necessarily hit the like or subscribe button so please if you do, please help me by doing that because then that will help this channel grow. It might encourage me to make uh, videos on a more regular basis, hopefully of this sort of stuff that you find interesting. So what are we doing today? Well today we are going to be fitting one of these. Uh, Easy Driver Reich Pro uh, auto, fully automatic mover and this is the uh, special version for the BPW hobby chassis that gets fitted into the chassis itself rather than hung underneath. And to power all that we're going to be fitting one of these uh, power packs by Vitron uh, rather than a full weight battery. A couple of points to note before you're going to um, uh, fit a mover you have to decide or you have to make sure you've definitely got enough weight uh, allowance in the caravan. Uh, an average mover is about 30 to 35 kilos by the time it's installed and then you've got your battery on top of that and if you're going for a big leisure battery that could be 20 to 25 kilos something like we're going for the power pack because we don't do any off-grid camping and we just essentially need a battery to power the mover somewhere between three to eight kilos depending how much power you want or whether you wanted to do something else so you have to do your research and find out what works for you my top tip please is weigh your caravan before you do anything um you'll be surprised how much it weighs and not only how much it weighs how much your stuff inside it weighs but you just have to take care of that um so without further ado, let's get on and have a look. We'll move back indoors. I've laid everything out in the, on the carpet and you'll be able to uh, see all the parts and the pieces and we'll do a dry talk through fitting. Um, there's only about half a dozen pieces really uh, and it's all, it's all fairly logical um, and it's actually only held together with, uh, well, 12 bolts um, in, in total really. So let's just have a look here, see what we've got. So we've got the right hand side um, mover unit here. We've got the bracket, uh, that how it goes into the chassis and mounts, the packet here with all the bolts in it. This bar in the middle goes between the left hand and right hand uh, unit to hold it all together under the caravan. You've got another pack here, which contains sort of wood screws, cable ties, cable fixes for, um, holding all the cable units here from each side under the caravan, um, all neat and tidy. You've got the control box here, which is mounted inside the caravan. Um, a spare pack here of eyelets and ringlets, all that type of stuff if you need to adjust any of the cable holdings. This cable in the middle here, that uh, connects the box here to your battery of choice, and we'll come on to that in a minute. Including in the pack is also a cutoff switch um, to switch off the power from the battery. Uh, and obviously a full range of instructions and your TUF uh, type approval certificates, all that sort of stuff. So that's what's in this kit. And then in the other kit, we've got this Victron power pack and that comes with a control button on the side, optional Bluetooth dongle. Uh, at the back there is the strap for holding it to the floor, the mains connection unit, and then you can just make out that little green thing that plugs in the side that we're looking at and allows you to connect it to your charging circuit on your car so you can charge it as you go along. So you'll need a torque wrench with a 19 mil socket, a 13 and a 19 mil spanner, a six millimeter hex key. Potentially you might need a wire stripper, crimper cutter, a crosshead screwdriver and an electrical screwdriver. And that's Okay, so we're now gonna look at how we fit the main motor bit. And this particular model is a special model for uh, BPW chassis hobby caravans which um, if you look at the diagram here, the normal mover is sat on top of the supporting bar under the chassis and you lose about five centimeters of ground clearance. And it also means you have to have all these sort of clamping bolts and clamping frames and stuff to get it on the chassis. But because of this one is essentially hung from the chassis, it's much simpler. So let me show you what I mean. So whereas you would have had this underneath, this is now on the top. And this one bracket here fits in that shaped hole in the chassis rail, which makes it really easy. So therefore, once you've attached that to the chassis, 
this is then hung in front of the, the wheel that's by me here uh, and you've only really then got to do up uh, three bolts on each side. So this is held in place with this little small screw here. I'll show you on the one from the other side. That just goes into this here and tightens up. We can get it to go, I don't want to cross through it. Get it to go in, there we go. Uh, and as you can see, that will then just go through and clamp onto the main bar. And you do that one up to 30 newton meters tight. You then have to, if I turn this round, make it a little easier. You have to imagine that the chassis rail is now in front of me here. And all you then do is you take this M12 bolt with the washers, feed it through, the chassis is here, you put the other washer on the outside, screw that in. Eventually you'll do it up to 90 newton meters and we'll have a look tomorrow once we pull the caravan out of storage, physically doing this, uh, but I just wanna make sure that you can see the process now. And then we get it lined up and we use this little block of wood with it to make sure there's a 15 millimeter gap between this and the tire. We make sure this is centered on the tire and then we do the bolts up. And uh, once that's hung in place on this side, we then take this long bar here, slide this all the way over here, hang this other unit on the other side, slide this back so it's central. And again, you've got those little small screws. You've got those four in total, which you then do up. And that is your mover, um, then physically attached to the uh, caravan chassis. So this is the control box, this is the brains, this goes inside the caravan. So what you'll have done, you'll already have fed your, you've got four cables uh, on each, from each side motor. The plus and the minus, the thick ones, are the ones giving the motor the power. And then you've got the thinner ones are the control signals going to whatever brains it's got in there telling it to spin, how much to spin or whatever. So in simple terms. Uh, and that's all connected in here. So uh, you have to undo these two screws, which are lightly done, lift off, just leave that there for the moment. And then you've got six connectors, uh, and I've already put one in to show you what it'll look like when it's done. So you've got the right-hand side and the left-hand side, and that's for the big main power ones with the distribution from your battery source here. And then on the right, you've got the, uh, the control ones, the thinner ones. So I'll just show you how this connects by using uh, the battery cable here. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter nut. I'll just unscrew it like that. Take the washer out, place this ring eyelet in there, put the washer back on, put the nut back on, and then we'll just tighten that up uh, properly when we're all done. And you repeat that. So you'll have the two from the right, the two from the left, you do have to remember that if you have the mover box behind the wheel for whatever reason, which is possible but unusual, then uh, you'll need to reverse the connections, but it's all about that and the instructions. So once you've connected those in, you connect these power cables. Now these power cables are about a meter long um, and they can't be, they could be shortened, but they can't be lengthened. Uh, and what you'll need to do will all depend at this end uh, on what your fittings are. So at mine, I've just got to push in, I've got a strip back a centimetre which I've done and push them in the power pack. If you've got a battery, you might have proper battery clips on there, whatever. Uh, there's a 150 amp fuse fitted on there and that must be fitted as close as possible um, to your power source, so you can't shorten that. What you will need to do, uh, and it's supplied in the kit, as we mentioned earlier, is this master cutoff switch. Um, if you are using a normal battery, and you don't have any other switch, you'll need to put this, you'll need to wire this in using all of the connectors they've given you uh, in order to be able to shut off the power from the battery coming to this terminal box. There are options that you can plug in here, either a Bluetooth switch uh, or a proper physical switch. Uh, I don't want any of that because I don't want to drill any holes in my caravan. And I'm lucky because the power pack I have, um, I can switch on and switch off the power to it. So I don't need any of that, but you might need that. And then the next stage will be just to connect that into, in my case, the power pack, and we'll go through that separately in a minute. Uh, you'll put the lid back on, and that's it. You can mount this 
horizontally as we're just showing on the floor here, or as I will end up doing, probably putting it on a on the side of a locker like that, just for ease. And then you've got this little antenna here sticking out. Um, yeah, but that will just pick up your signal from your remote control. I don't know whether it needs to be in the box or out. It arrived in, but there's a slot in the top, so I'll probably leave it out. So in the introduction, uh, I've decided to go for a power pack because I only really need power to power the mover. We don't really do any off-grid camping. So I don't need the, the you know, a proper full-on uh, battery. So there's many makes available, but I've gone for this one. It's got a built-in charger um, and it's, it can charge it as you go along from your car. Uh, it's quite light, this weighs um, 3.8 kilos, and in theory I should get about at least 20 minutes of moving out of this. And when you think that um, normally you're only going to use your mover for a couple of minutes to move in and out of the pitch, we should be alright. So, um, at the front here, you can take the top off, you can see you've got a couple of uh, fastening screws in there. And the connections here at the front are the plus and the minus to the mover, so the really big thick wires from the mover. And then this here is um, an output, and that is powered into your um, caravan uh, 12 volt system. And we'll cover that in a separate video of how we wire that in. On this side, you've got the connection for your mains charger, and you've got a connection there available for you to plug that into your um, car or onboard solar system for trickle charging as you go along. Uh, supplied with it is this little uh, sort of green plastic plug uh, and again it's got the fixing screws on the top put your wires in there and then I think it goes in that way around but I'm reluctant to put it in because I expect once it's in once it probably won't come out very easily unless it's broken off so we'll deal with that nearer the time the charger unit itself is very much like your sort of laptop size charging unit um, that just plugs in there like that plug that into your main socket in the caravan uh, and that'll mean that charges as soon as your caravan's on the, on the mains electric. And then on this side, uh, you've got the controller. Now the controller itself is this little button here, which lights up with a, an LED on it, either in blue or red, depending on what it's doing. Um, and you can use that and that just plugs in there with this little three and a half millimeter jack. I think it's about a meter and a half cable. And then you just put that somewhere discreet to do what you need to do. What I've decided to do though, is to spend that little bit more and get one of these Bluetooth modules. What this allows me to do is you download the app, you connect it to your phone, uh, that allows you then to switch the unit on uh, or switch the unit off into hibernation. And it allows you to switch on this output here for the mover power. Uh, if you do nothing else, it'll go on for half an hour and then switch itself off or they can switch it off manually, but the, uh, the normal supply is always live. And all that does is that just goes into this little socket here, which will get it the right way around, and it just plugs in and that's it. So I shall put that in, which means I'm not, hence why I don't have to have all those other switches that we spoke about. Um, there's also this strap in here, I'm leaving in next, it's got some small screws in there, and that allows you to then connect this to the floor and then that's you uh, good to go of how you wire the electrics on this particular model. So as you can see, we've now fitted the mover here and you can see the bar at the top and through the gap there you can see the bolts in the chassis. And that is now in place. I'm hoping the light is good enough under here. You can see the bar goes across uh, and up in that corner there, you can see those bolts and how it hangs. And then I've just fed the cables back under the caravan to two existing holes. And we'll pick a few up cable that. management bits uh, still to do, of course, which we'll worry about later on. But we've got it mounted with the four screws on this flat panel here. It's off the ground. The box will go back on it in a minute. Um, and it's all, all done up with the various connectors that you see there. And then if you look across, uh, the cable then moves underneath this uh, chest of drawers we have here uh, over to this side where we've got the, the power pack. And 
that's all tucked away on this side because that's where the uh, main junction box is for the caravan. So we've got the power pack here, the Bluetooth dongle and connectors are here. Again, a bit of cable management, they're gonna get stuck on the side here. We've got the power cables coming across from the uh, control box plugged in. We've got the mains uh, connector here that for mains charging. Again, we just need to get that tidied up for cable management. And then down here, this cable here is connected in to pins 10 and 11 on the socket, uh, which is the battery, uh, is the ignition only live and the, and the appropriate earth return. And then what we will do is there be the, out, the other output that we've got here will then go in to pin number nine to provide power for the caravan circuit, internal 12 volt lighting system. But I'm going to do a separate video about that. I've got some relays coming and I'll show you how to build a simple switching circuit for about 10 or 15 pounds for a couple of euros, uh, for a couple of relays, I should say. Uh, and then that will mean uh, either this will, this will be on unless the car plugs into it and then this switches off. So that's it all wired up. As we've said, um, the, the power pack can be controlled by a manual switch, but we've got the option of Bluetooth. So I've already set this up, it took about literally two minutes to get this done. You could change the name, whatever you have, you want to do it. You tap the button. Uh, that tells you uh, that the battery is charged, the temperature of the battery, and which of the two power sources is on. Now the domestic output is always on. We clearly want the one for the mover, which is currently on. If you require to switch it off, just press standby um, and that switches off but keeps the main power going. In this case we want on for 30 minutes, so that's now on. So we can now switch the mover on, so just need to switch my phone for my control. There is an app on the right to control everything on your phone if you wish to, but I'm, I can't be bothered with that. I've got a Ronati controller here. So to switch this particular one on, you press the on button twice and it does a self check. Uh, and then now we just need to engage the rollers. That at the moment shows they're out. So we press the button. And we keep the button pressed until it automatically switches itself off. So then just switch off the handbrake. We've got ourselves a moving caravan. So hopefully you found that video useful. Um, in terms of how long it took to actually do the work, it took me about half an hour under the caravan to fit the supporting brackets in the actual mover bit, and about half an hour to feed the wires through and um, get them all wired in. Probably another half an hour's work in there to do a bit of cable management and stuff just to make it all really neat and tidy, but I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. Clearly it works and that's the important thing. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, make a comment. Ideally subscribe uh, and definitely give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video where we connect the power pack uh, to the 12 volt system in the caravan using a couple of relays so it becomes automatically switching. Thanks very much for watching.